Hello, my name is Andy Hall and I'm a certified CamWork support engineer here at Go Engineer. And uh, this is my continuing series on three axis machining. And this one we're going to go a little bit more in the uh, area that I'm a little bit more familiar with here. I've spent many years in a mold shop and using some of these techniques in uh, creating injection molding, tooling. So here we have a, a simple b-side insert and uh, we're gonna go ahead and set this up I'll come back here in camworks and we'll have to sort of manually insert a, a part set up and we can do that by selecting existing geometry or a, a reference plane here and so this is a reference plane that's created that's perpendicular to the to the area we want to cut and or the, the square of the part here this face down here and of course we want to flip directions so the red arrow represents which direction we're machining into the, the negative Z direction. I'll go ahead and hit OK and then now we're going to go and uh, of course the stock is going to be by default just the smallest extents. So we'll let that be the way it is and I will insert a multi-surface feature selecting select all and associate. And for my strategy once again, is th this represents just a way of customizing camwork so we can generate operations plan and have it sort of customized to the way we want to machine something. And I'm looking here for, here we go, rough lace, fin slice, pen trace. We'll just go ahead and select that as our strategy. And so that when I generate my operation plan, we get, we get pretty much the operations we want to work with. So I'll start with this area clearance just to modify its uh, parameters and uh, once again we want to select a little bit smaller tool. We'll go with this half inch tool and uh, we'll I guess we'll go pa a pocket in and just some of these uh, let's see point one eight yeah point one eight seven five is our depth parameter and uh, hit OK. We'll let that generate and while that's generating I can go ahead and uh, insert a new operation because we want to do a come around here with just sort of a constant step over. I just want to show you this idea here. Um, first of all I'll, I'll select on constant step over and I'm gonna I'm gonna change some of the parameters here. First of all we'll go 20 thousandths step over uncheck this number of cuts because we want to cut the whole thing and uh, I'll just leave it at that for now. Um, what we want to do is with this constant step over we want it to just go all the way around this center part so we want to before we generate it we'll just we'll want to insert a a contain area and this will take a little bit because we're going to select every one of these edges to to define that and when we get done we'll see a nice red line that indicates what our what our contain area is. We'll go ahead and enter in a value to offset it a little bit and hit finish and we'll generate this and you'll see just to give you some diff, diff the explanation of what this does on a 3D step over as opposed to a as opposed to a 2D step over, you see that in all directions, 3D and whatnot, we get a uh, the same distance. Looks like we need to modify our contain area. Let's just go on center with the contain area. Let that generate so it goes all the way down to the all the way down to the floor of the mold here for this pattern project. Oh wait, one more thing to show. So this goes this way. We have a setting, just a couple of things to show here to make it 2D step over, which will only cut as I generate this in the uh, XY. It'll step over in the XY direction, not taking into account Z. So as you can see, the Z di direction will be a little bit different, but when we look at it head on, it's going to a top view, that XY is the same. I'm going to do a couple of things here just to show you a few more options. Let's turn that back to 3D step over. Disregard this rebuild for now. The contain area, 
whoops, not the contain area. We're going to insert an avoid area for this center hub here just to show you a few of the settings. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to let's just go ahead and select all these edges. And oops. Okay, once I got that selected, if I hit machine over, this is just something to be aware of. Machine over, just the way it'll uh, calculate that avoid area is that it'll keep the tool engaged in the part and machine over it. And you might be able to use this as your to your advantage if you have like holes to drill and you want to remove and finish up most of the part and then drill a hole. It leaves, you can see, just a flat area. So for now, I'm just going to suppress this because we want the container to not have it. Of course, I'm going to insert an avoid area here for our pattern project because we want to clean up the rest of the sh these shut-off surfaces that are the par actually the party line surfaces. So we'll, we'll make this into a nice avoid area. Oops. And then, uh, of course, we want to... Cut 90 degrees, that'll be good for this showing off, generate this tool path. And now our pencil mill to clean up some things is, we'll just switch some of these settings here. Uh, first one, trace, we want to do a parallel lace with five cuts. We'll take this down a little bit. And just to show you some of the, what this will do here when I generate tool path, is it'll come in like we did with the previous exercise and just cut with the smaller end mill those those faces. Now you see how we get the entry and retracts a little bit more. We might want to come back and change those and we can do that here on this entry retract and it's these settings. So I'll just all set these to zero but our lead in radius, lead in length, that's what's causing this. And before I rebuild again, we notice that it's trying to cut down in there. And we haven't cut that yet, so we can, of course, take this avoid area. I'll just take that avoid area since we have it there. Undo the machine over and generate that tool path. And we'll have our tool path. And then I'll go ahead and uh, so we got that tool path. Oh, it looks like a couple things on the pattern project. We want to make sure it's going to stay down and go over maybe take some of these settings off for its entry retract so once we get things looking pretty good here on this end we can go ahead and simulate it and post it i'll run a turbo mode anyway this has been a go engineer quick tip um, stay tuned for more anyway i'll talk to you later